What's up, mamas? I'm Rebecca. You're watching the Reseller Mom Show. Thank you for joining me today for a What Sold Fast video. I do these videos every Sunday, so if you want to know what sold in less than two weeks or what sold for over $30 or both and any other kind of like notes um, that I make throughout the week, come and see me every week here. This is going to cover the week of February 16th through February 22nd. I've got the over $30 sales. I've got the less than two week sales. It was an okay week, did a little over $1,000. Um, and I'll tell you why uh, at the end, but it was a solid week. No, no, nothing, you know, too much to complain about and nothing not to complain about. So let's start with the items that sold in less than two weeks of being listed. This is a Chico's Paisley Floral Capri Pants, so pretty. This sold in a bundle, so um, I had them up for 15 and they sold in a bundle, so it was a little less than 15 but not too much less. It was a decent bundle. Um, and again, that sold in 14 days of being listed on Poshmark. Actually, all of my sales this week were on Poshmark. Not all of my sales. All of the sales I'm going to mention as far as being over $30 or selling in two weeks or less. This next item... I have all this pulled up. I don't know why it's taking so long. This next item is a new tags New York narrative body con dress, and it sold for sixteen dollars. It is new with tags. I did not know this brand, so I'm assuming it's just kind of some boutique brand. I will be honest with you. Um, I did not do a lot of research on it. However, um, this came from the Ross big clearance haul that I did. So if you're not familiar with that. I got over 150 items from multiple Ross stores, brand new with tags, on average $2, I think it was like $0.36 cents or $2.41 or something like that. Um, so even though this wasn't the biggest flip, I've included a lot of those items in my reseller boxes and I've also sold a good amount of them, you'll see a few of them here. So I feel like it was a good, you know, situation. The next item, my voice is so scratchy. This is the first time like I'm talking, I get up, everybody else is sleeping, it's quiet in my house, so I don't actually say anything, and then when I come on to do the video, I'm like, why am I so scratchy? Um, anyway, next up is an Ancline High Rise Bootleg Pants, brand new with tags. These sold for full price at $39. Um, I have them in size 1X and 2X. Uh, these were also from the Ross clearance, and so I bought multiple pairs of them so that I could have a multiple quantity listing, which I love, and so this was a great sale. That sold in 11 days. Nope, the, the red dress was 11 days of being listed. This was 10 days of being listed. Okay, I apologize. I had all this set. What is going on? Um, okay, the next one is also from the Ross clearance sale. This is a Calvin Klein red sheath dress. Um, this sold on an offer. I think I had it up for 39 and with the offer to Likers that my virtual assistant did, she has some automatic criteria to send it out. It came to $27 and that sold in eight days of being listed. This is an A New Day top and I've mentioned before that I actually still like picking up A New Day. It must have a following. Not every piece that I pick up sells, but certain nice, cute pieces do sell across the board size-wise. This was a double XL, um, but just a really pretty top, and it sold for $15. This was actually part of a bundle as well. I don't know if it was a bundle with the Chico's or if it was a different bundle, though, but it wasn't a bundle, and so it wasn't for $15, but it wasn't much less, and that sold in eight days of being listed as well. Next up are these North Face shorts. I, these are, okay. I was just looking to see, cause I'm like, oh, I've had these for a while. And that's the problem is that, let me see if I can see it here. So these look like they were from September of last year, perhaps because they're relisted and that's, and that's the thing. I have my VA doing some relists. I have her doing about five a day right now on Poshmark. So she's going down to the oldest items in my closet. As long as they're over a certain dollar amount, I can't remember 
15 or $20, I'm having her relist them automatically onto Poshmark. And that's mostly because I have a bottleneck right now. I've been busy doing some other projects. I can't take as many photos. Normally I do 10 items a day worth of photos. Um, but now I'm only doing five items a day worth of photos. So I'm having her continue doing 10 listings for me. Five are new items, five are relists. Just for a short period of time while I work on a couple of things. So these were a relist. So it does say that it was from February of 2020, but that's because of the relist. So it looks like I said that it, they were from September of last year. Um, and it was an $18 offer, they're men's, and that's fine. So from them being listed this time, they sold in four days of being listed this time around. And that's the funny thing about relists. It's worth it sometimes. Um, this next item is Distressed, Destroyed Mom Jeans from American Eagle Outfitters. And these are not, yeah, I felt like I had a pair that were new with tags, but these are not the ones. So these were just a new item being sold. I think that I got these at the bins. I think I got these at the bins. Um, and so they, I took an offer for seven, that actually might have been an offer to Likers for $17. And those sold in three days of being listed. These are new with tags. These are from the bins. New with tags, Gap, Broken In, Straight Khakis. They were a size 18. And I don't know if I had them up for 10 or if I had them up for 15. I did not put them up for much, and here's why. I used to pick up a lot of Gap in the beginning when I first started as a reseller, and it would actually sell. Um, and then, you know, it wouldn't. And so I've give, not given away, but removed a lot of Gap items that were older from my closet. The only reason why I picked these up is because they were new with tags and they were a plus size. And I thought, well, it's worth a shot, but I'm not gonna be crazy as far as what price I'm gonna put them up for. So I either only put them up for 10 or I only put them up for 15. And I was okay with that. And I know that people get a little crazy about pricing, but everyone gets to choose how they do their pricing. And if I want to choose to sell something for cheaper, or if I want to choose to list it for cheaper, I have every right to do that. I know that some people say that it tanks the market and there is a case to be made for that. I do recognize that. But at the same time, things sell for different prices for different people for all reasons all the time. And so there's there's no sense in telling other people what to do with their business. All you can do is tell yourself what you can do for your business and do those things and execute and make profit. That's really all you can do at the end of the day. All I can do is control what I do and what I share. I choose to share more than less, um, and that's what works for me, and I'm okay with that. Um, so I sold these for $10. I made a $7 profit after pro um, Poshmark fees, and you know it probably cost me a dollar for them, give or take. So that's about $6, and it was a quick, I didn't take that many photos. Like, when you're doing things in more bulk and you're already sourcing and you're already listing or you're already doing things, I don't mind certain items only bringing me $5 of profit. You could make an argument that I pay my VA, I pay for sharing, I pay for storage unit. So maybe I only made $2 on this, but $2 grouped in with everything else that I did at the time that I bought them and at the time that I photographed them and at the time that my VA listed them, I'm okay with that. So. Some things make more money than others. Next up is a new with tags Lauren Ralph Lauren dress, beautiful emerald color. This was also from that Ross clearance and this sold on an offer for $20. But this one really did kind of bug me a little bit, but here's the reason. If you are a person that is or isn't relying on this reseller income for all of your bills, um, and I'm not, my husband, with his salary, thank goodness, does pay most of our bills, but I am trying to grow this business to where I am making the money I used to make when I worked the traditional job. So I'm treating it like I have to pay the bills with this money. I wanna make a certain amount. I'm trying to make a certain amount. I'm slowly building to that. I've made some mistakes. I've had some pitfalls, but I am trying to rely on the money that I make. And so you can't go a day with no sales. I mean, you can but I don't want to. And so 
I'll take a little less on a day that I have less sales so that I can still make the profit on this item. I'm still making profit here. So that's my opinion. I've said it before. I just feel the need to say it because I think a lot of people get kind of crazy about it. And that's fine, but I don't. Um, so that sold in zero days of being listed. Because again, I don't want to store this dress. Maybe that was my buyer. Maybe that's what the market dictates. Maybe if I had held out for six weeks or six months, I would have gotten $39 for it. Maybe I'd still have it at the end of six weeks or six months. Maybe I don't have the space to hold things for that long. Maybe I only have a limited space. And I do have a limited space, it's my storage unit, um, but I have a bigger space than most. But some people, that's another reason why they need things to sell fast or they need things to sell for less money than they'd like because of a space issue. So everybody can run their business however they want. So for the numbers, here's why I had a good week even though on Poshmark for the on my rack closet, I had only an okay week. So on my main closet, on my rack, which is all of those individual items, I sold 30 items for $519 in sales. Eh, it's okay. Not great um, for me, from what I wanna be doing. But the reseller mom show closet, which has my reseller boxes, so if you don't know, I sell reseller inventory boxes. They're $35 normally for six items plus. And there's all the details. If you go to at Reseller Mom Show on Poshmark, you can find all that info. It's linked down below. I sold 16 boxes um, for $495. I had a couple of boxes that were less than $35 um, because that was the box. And then I also ran a sale on Saturday because I have so much inventory right now in bins for reseller boxes in my reselling room. And it's I wanted to say like, oh, I'll just slowly work through it, but it's really bugging me. I can't move in there <laughs> and it's just making me stressed out. So I'd rather get the sales now than wait till later. So if I don't have anything later, I'll just put the store on vacation mode and it can wait for a little bit if I don't have enough inventory for reseller boxes. But for right now, I just want to sell them. So I did a sale just to try. It's the first time I've ever done a sale like that. Um, with my audience. I've made individual offers to people before I shared it with my audience and I will I have plans and have started my talking points for more videos on the reseller boxes. I know a lot of people have asked me and I asked did you want it and they've said yes. So I'm working on it. It's coming. So I did I did the 35 I did five dollars off any box. So if it was a $35 box, it was 30. If it was a $20 box, it was 15. And that was fine. I sold a bunch. I actually don't remember off the top of my head how many I sold yesterday, but it was at least six or eight, something like that, which was great. Um, and then throughout the week, I sold a total of 16. And so that really saved my week. And the reason I did that, and just to give you an idea, I'm gonna do my end of February monthly report like I did for January because I think it's nice to show over a month view what daily sales look like, what's actually happening in my resale business on a day-to-day -day basis kind of thing, um, but from an overview. And I noticed that I was tracking behind for this month. You know, I have a certain goal um, that will allow me to meet all of my obligations for my business as well as pay myself what I want as well as save for taxes and have profit money etc and I was tracking below the sales numbers that I needed to hit all of that so what I decided to do was take some aggressive actions this month to recoup before it got too far off now one could say that maybe February is going to be an off month and in March, I'll have a double my sales month and it wouldn't have mattered. But for me, I like to track all along. I don't want it to get too far out of control. Let's say I get into March and it hasn't fixed itself. Let's say I get into April and it hasn't fixed itself. Well, now you're almost at midway through the year where you would have to make up that time. Then you have the summer, which is slow, you know, notably to begin with. So I don't want to let things get out of hand. I want to either be up 
and let that work itself out or be down and start making corrections. So more will come on that exactly when I do the month end video. Um, but I did want to share it now just so you know how this particular week shook out. About half was in regular sales on, on my rack and half was in reseller box sales. All of that was on Poshmark. No items sold on eBay. That's fine. I haven't listed anything on eBay since December 1st, but I am making the plans, formulating the plan for an eBay comeback. I will be sharing more on that soon. So if you're interested in how I'm going to completely from scratch revamp my eBay store, stay tuned because that is coming. And then um, on Mercari, I sold four items, which is okay for a week. Um, and that was for $95 in sales. I just, Mercari has been very upsetting to me. Um, so 50 items sold, $1,100 in sales, $22 gross ASP. In general, that's okay with me. We have nine items that sold in less than two weeks. We have three items that sold in less than a month on top of that. Three more that sold in less than two months. This is terrible. Zero that sold between being listed from two to six months. That's crazy. Um, because I, you know, I show you what sells in less than two weeks. I see what happens in less than two months just to kind of get an idea. But really, I'm okay with something taking between two and six months to sell. Like, that's fine. Um, because of seasonality and because I list things of all seasons, that's going to be, you know, an issue. But to have nothing sell, having been listed in two to six months, that almost indicates to me, and I can't say for sure, but it's leading me down a path where I think that what I'm sourcing <clears throat> is not going well. Um, and it could be because that's within the time frame that I've decided to do the reseller boxes and I've been giving away all the good stuff in the reseller boxes because I want things to move quickly and I want to get the sales. So do I want to wait two to six months for it to sell for me? Or do I want to turn around the anthropology and the Lululemon and the whatever I get with brand new with tags and you know, the Torrid, um, in the reseller boxes take my profit off the top and then allow you to also make profit by selling it but you're going to be the one that may have to wait on it if it takes a little bit to sell but they're all profitable items so it's interesting to look at and it's not to say that i won't do the reseller boxes anymore but i may change gears or i may put them on pause and say okay when I get an influx of stuff, I'll sell some and then I'll put it on vacation mode and then I'll sell more. Or maybe it says, you know what? I'm okay to still sell $500 worth of resell boxes. And I only sold $500 worth of my own items. And I had to do a whole lot of a lot of work for the, my own items than I did for the reseller boxes. And so maybe that's more of a direction that I go in and I double down on that. I mean, you just don't know. So I'm just blabbering. Um, so, and then 12 items that sold in six months plus, which makes sense because I've been doing the relists. And so some of the items that are being relisted. So one item sold for over $30 and that is this Vince Camuto dress. Now this was an item. I want to see if it was a relist. No. So this was from June of 2019. And if I'm not mistaken, this was from the Macy's liquidation palette that I did. I purchased a complete palette from Macy's of liquidated items. And I feel like this dress was in there. And that was about the time frame. So it's very possible. I don't know for sure. But Anyway, it sold for $39 and that was great. Um, that's a good price because it was, it's a size 10, um, but with Vince Camuto, I feel like plus size is better. So it was a size 10 and I'm okay with getting $39 for that. It's actually pretty good for Vince Camuto these days in my book. So those are the numbers. That's what's going on with me. I appreciate you being here and tuning in week after week for this What's Old Fast video, I would really like to know from you what you think about these videos. Do you want to know 
I've been doing them for a while now. Do you want to know anything different? Like, would you just want me to do what sold over a certain dollar amount? Maybe it's over $30. Maybe it's over $25. Maybe it's over $20. Would you, do you like the less than two weeks selling items? Um, do you want to see what happens being sold in less than a month and show more of that because we're okay with a month? Do you want me to look at what's sold in six months and pick the highest value of those? I'm just curious. Maybe it's time to switch it up. I'm okay to keep doing the same thing, but I'm curious what you guys might want. So if you're here through the whole thing, leave me a comment below and let me know what you might be interested in. I would love to know. Thanks so much, and I will see you in the next one. Like this video on the way out. Subscribe if you haven't already, and go ahead and leave me a comment.